Ladies and gentlemen, the good doctor, Dr. Umar Johnson, is back in the news. Um, I have thoughts on this, but before I give you my thoughts on this specifically, uh, I want to share with you what it is that he posted. I will be reading Super Chats throughout the show. Thank you, Spaces, for continuing to hold me down. Let me show this video for y'all, all right? Peace and Pan-Africanism, peace and Pan-Africanism. This is your big brother, King Kong Consciousness, Intercontinental Ifa Tunde. We live at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Brothers and sisters, I got some bad news, but we not gonna stop. I wanna give all my donors and supporters a minute to pull up at King Kong Consciousness Highway, Dr. Papa Boulevard, Ifa Tunde Avenue. We here, getting the school ready, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Intellectual insurrection begins September 3rd, 2024. But we want y'all to know, you're hearing it directly from me, CEO, CAO, principal, history teacher, spirituality instructor, brothers and sisters. We have to cover the windows back up. We have to cover the windows back up. Brothers and sisters, we have to cover the windows back up on the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey High, uh, Elementary School. We got to cover the windows up, family. We got to cover the windows back up. Somebody broke a window. They broke a window, brothers and sisters. They broke a window. I'm about to show y'all the window. We covering them back up. We, we can't. Black people, we are so self-hating, so self-destructive. They broke a window, brothers and sisters. So we got to cover them back up. We got to cover them back up. Investigation is pending. They broke the window. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? They broke the window, brothers and sisters. Y'all see that? They broke the window. Somebody threw a rock through the window. They threw a rock through the window, brothers and sisters. They threw a rock through the window. All the money we paid to get this done. And we got people sabotaging, brothers and sisters. I want y'all to see yourself. They threw a rock. Y'all see that? They bust the rock. They bust the rock, brothers and sisters. So we covering the windows back up. We got the good brothers. Reading Super Chat shortly. I want to let y'all, want to let this play out a little bit more. Out here, we're going to cover the windows back up, brothers and sisters. We got black people who don't want to see us succeed. We got Negroes who don't want to see liberation, brothers and sisters. Now, my first question is always, well, how do you automatically assume that they black, right? I thought that we as black people were supposed to give each other the benefit of the doubt. How do you know that they're black, doctor? How do you know that it's black people? Now, before we get into this, let me say this. And before I get my thoughts, because I do have uh, some extensive thoughts on this. Um, I don't like to see people sabotage other people just because they disagree with them. You may disagree with how it is that he runs his school, then choose not to enroll. You may disagree with his take on certain political issues of how it is that he sees the black community, then don't watch his content. I disagree with, with Dr. Umar Johnson on a lot of different things, especially with how it is that he looks at things from a business perspective, but that's my opinion. I will never, ever advocate for the sabotage of somebody else just because you don't like them or you don't like the stance that they take on something in particular. Now, I do have some more thoughts in particular, and there's some things that I agree with Dr. Umar Johnson on. I disagree with him more than I, than I agree with him. However, I'm able to be objective enough, like the last video that I dropped where he was highlighting what it is that he thought about the, ma the emasculation of men, especially as it pertains to how it is that the NAACP was given Dwayne Wade uh, an award based off of what it was that he was doing to his kids. I agreed 100% with what he said. He didn't miss one time on that video, and I highlighted it. And I highlight that. And there's some other things that I want to I say with regard to this whole situation. But again, I do not. And whomever it is, again, he can't automatically assume that it's black based off of where it is that he stands on a lot of these issues. I do not, and I will never, A, advocate against anybody losing money as a result of somebody not liking them. I am never going to stop somebody from getting their money and getting their bag. And this ain't just with Dr. Umar Johnson. This is just in general. I don't believe in doxing. I don't believe in, in, in stopping people's money and all of that other type of stuff. Yo, that's the ability for them to be able to feed their families. And secondly, just because you don't like him does not mean that you have the right to be able to try and sabotage 
what he's building. If it's his school, keep your hands off of other people's stuff. Keep your hands to yourself. Stop trying to stop other people from doing what they want to do. If you just disagree with him, then give your opinion in a video like he give his opinion on, on different people and different things that he stand for. But stop trying to put your hands on other people and stop thinking that you're smart and you're better than everybody else and that you can start sabotaging other people's stuff and, and throwing rocks through windows and stuff. That's not cool. That's not cool. Now, I want to let a little bit more of this video play so that I can give you the information that on, on, on what I, how I see what he's communicating right here. We got Negroes who don't want to see liberation. So we gotta cover the windows back up, brothers and sisters. They they hate us. You got black folk. Now remember, y'all. Think about this. And this is why I say it's a difference between looking at things from a business perspective um, and understanding the nature of people and understanding how money works versus just doing something because you think that it's the right thing to do. Okay. Okay, so let's say you cover the windows back up. Because now that I've advocated that people should not be putting their hands on this stuff in the first place, I got to be realistic in, dealing, in, in highlighting what it is that he's dealing with. Have y'all ever opened up a business in the hood? I have. I have. And one of the things that I realized very quickly that is that it was a mistake trying to civilize people that had no interest in you being successful or you bringing a quality thing over into that particular area. See, these are lessons that I learned very early, which is one of the reasons he need to tap in with me, right? We need to have a conversation and sit down. When the school opens and he takes the boards off of the windows, what's stopping people from vandalizing and sabotaging and throwing a, a brick through the window again? Let me say that one more time. When the school opens and he takes the boards back off the window after he gets the window repaired again, What's stopping somebody from vandalizing and throwing a brick through the window again? Just a question. This is a logical question that we have to ask ourselves when we try to do good things for the community. He's not wrong for whatever it is that he feels like he's trying to do for the community. But from a business perspective, what's stopping people from doing the same thing over and over again? Folks who don't want to... And, and... Good doctor, you're supposed to have insurance on the building, sir. Do you have insurance on the building, sir? Neither here nor there. We don't know. See us win. They don't want to see black boys win. They broke the windows. So we got to pay. Brothers and sisters, hit your cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Let them know that we're going to do this no matter what. Get the cash out. Let yo, yo. Yo, hold on. If I, was, if I was trying to finesse, all right? If I was trying to finesse, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. If I was trying to finesse and I was trying to raise more money than what the window even cost, is this not a phenomenal marketing opportunity or is this not a phenomenal marketing opportunity? If I was... Let them know we are gonna do this no matter what. Hit your cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit your cash app for... If I was doc, the good doctor, I'm not saying that he did this. If I was a good doctor, I might've broke the window myself. Like, hey, we need to raise some more money. Hit the cash app out here in these streets. Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app. Let's get these donations up because we got to make sure that we FDMG school. FDMG BMF School of Business. Hit the cash app. Oh, my God. The haters who bust our window out. Hit your cash app for the haters who bust our window out. Hit your cash app for the haters who bust the window out. Dollar sign FDMG school. Yo, the, honestly, and this is the God's honest truth, this sound just like the church. This sound just like the church. They will set a separate line for the people that's going to get $500 or more, uh, a special donation for the building fund. They got a separate line for the people that, that uh, paid $2,000 or more or get a whole paycheck. This is the same, Mark. honestly, I, honest to God, and I'm not saying that he's doing it. I'm just saying in general, it just sounds like it. 
is very similar to what I experienced in a black church growing up. Uh, it's 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 the same thing, man. It's like, boy, if that, this ain't a marketing strategy, I don't know. You ain't have insurance on that building, Doc. You know what the insurance company is going to say? Nope, not in that neighborhood. We're going to continue. It's a reason why they're giving these buildings away for free. It's a reason why they're giving these buildings away for free. I don't know how much he paid for it, but I'm sure it was it's close to nothing. They give these buildings away because nobody is even willing to take them because it's almost a liability and it's going to cost you more to even be able to inhabit these buildings than you will get as a result of, of doing it. And this is why we got to look at things from a business perspective. If you want to create an environment that's conducive for your students or that people would feel more comfortable with bringing their students to, then you have to create the oasis. And that comes with a lot more than just getting a building, throwing some rooms in it, putting some windows on it, and then throwing some paint on the outside. And get, I get it. Listen, I think that it's admirable. I honestly think that it's admirable that, um, you know, he's doing this and he's trying to do this thing for his community. But Jesus, y'all, if it's not short-sighted, I don't know what is. I, these buildings, honestly, is probably, if I had to guess, if I had to anticipate and I had to guess just from a realistic perspective, and I hope that he's successful, uh, these buildings will become no more than, um, what do they call it, event centers? Or they can just host parties or throw a different events or, hey, if you want to rent this out in order to raise money or, hey, come and rent the gym out. Y'all know how churches then rent out the basketball gym in order to continue to raise money. So this is such a bad business plan. I got on Huey P. Newton today because I think it's time to go to war. I got on my Huey P. Newton rest in peace co-founder of the Black Panther Party, Oakland, California, 1966. Huey P. Newton assassinated the day after my birthday, August the 27th. I had to put on Huey P. Newton today with the Garvey RBG because we got to go to war. They trying to stop us from building an... Hey, who, who y'all think made that hoodie? Like, what do you think that the cotton was sold from that hoodie? What do you think that it was manufactured at before somebody did a print on that hoodie in order to... Education for our children? You trying to stop an independent school? You going to bust the windows out of our school because you jealous? You hating on the babies? How you gonna hate on the future of black boys? How you gonna hate on the future of black boys, brothers and sisters? They hating on the future. We got cameras in. We got cameras in. I'm gonna be looking at camera footage all night to find out who did this. We got cameras. <laughs> Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Help us to be smarter and wiser in how it is that we go on about doing things. Uh, have a, God, let me not hate, because I know a lot of y'all gonna be that love Dr. Umar going to say, Anton out here hating. No, I'm about to pray for him. God, and your son Jesus' name, we bring Dr. Umar Johnson, E. Fatunde, uh, FDMG, BMF School of Business to the, to, to the front of you. And we pray for both him and for the school success. All right. We pray that uh, you, all of the people's cash app donations uh, will be able to substantiate that this is a success, that it does not. Ex it's not an exercise in futility. Uh, we pray that his windows no longer get bust, uh, even though that is just a part of business. When you open up a school in the hood, then. That's what business owners go through, and that's why they be putting bars and, and, and plexiglass on the windows, bulletproof glass on the windows. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted, God. Uh, we bring Dr. Umar Johnson and all that he's trying to do for the black community before you to pray for his success, uh, that there are no more obstacles, that people don't have to overpay and hitting the cash app in order for him to be able to get the school open, uh, and that tuition is not overly high. Uh, so that the, the babies don't have to be hated on and everybody can get a good education from the CEO, CAO, CTO, principal, uh, protector, provider, uh, security guard, and uh, overseer of Ifa Tunde. Because he had like seven different roles. So, Lord, don't let him be overwhelmed with all of these roles, trying to serve, do all the things for everybody. And yes, son, Jesus' name, amen. 
We got cameras. I'm going to be looking at camera footage all night to find out who did this. We got cameras. We got cameras. I'm going to be Lord, bless Dr. Umar Johnson to be able to get rest at night and not to be lo looking at cameras all night. In Jesus' name. Looking at camera footage all night to find out who did this, brothers and sisters. We got cameras. The cameras is working. I'm going to see who did it. I'm going to see who did it. Don't worry about that. We're going to see who did it. I might not know who they are, but we're going to see who did it. <laughs> so don't worry about that. <laughs> I just want y'all to see the type of opposition we get for trying to save our children. I just want y'all to see the type of... <laughs> Oh, oh my God. This guy is like the smartest, funniest dude I've ever seen in my entire life. How you gonna be smart, stupid? <laughs> we got cameras. I might not be able to see who did. I might not know who it is. I might not be able, but I want to show you guys what we up against. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I'm look, look. I can't. Let me see if I can get a little bit more out of this. Hold on. Opposition we getting for trying to save our own children. I just want y'all to see the kind of opposition we getting for trying to save our own children. That's all, brothers and sisters. I hope y'all learned something today during the Black Parent Teleconference. Soon when the teleconference ended, I got a call. As soon as the teleconference ended, I got a call. As soon as the teleconference ended, I got a call that the windows were broken at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Elementary School, brothers and sisters. But they're not going to stop us. Who broke the windows, brothers and sisters? Who broke the... We're going to find out. I'm going to put the footage up. When I find out the footage, I think I'm going to put the footage up. The police then already been here. Investigation is pending. <laughs> investigate we're going to find out who did this and i'm pressing charges i'm pressing charges i got an idea who might have done it i think we all got an idea of who might have done it. Who, who? i think we all got an idea who? of who, who might have done it tell us uh, but we ain't gonna worry about that i'm taking on the whole miseducation system bob <laughs> dr umar tell us that you're not gonna press charges on these good Black folk, don't you press charges and put another black man in jail, Dr. Umar Johnson. I want to know who did it. Who drove over to the FD BMG uh, BMF School of Business in order to throw a rock through that window? And I'm, I'm against it, but I certainly don't want to see. Let me tap into my people.